absence of uh, energy around the tropics or the heat today and humidity, Barbara, that's something we'll be tracking throughout the week. This disturbance we won't have to track for too long, though. It's going to move inland later on this evening and tonight around Georgia, the southern South Carolina coastline right now. Still disorganized this morning, but enough time to maybe become a depression or a storm before it moves inland. If it does become a tropical storm, Danny is the next name on the list. Right now, models clustered and packed tightly there around Georgia. It's about 300 miles east southeast of Savannah right now, although it's going to stay south of us. That's the impacts along our coastline with the rip current threat, which will be medium to mainly high today all the way up towards Kill Devil Hill. So exercise caution, being careful out there today. Also watch out for a stray shower storm if you're beach bound this afternoon. Wrightsville Beach to Oak Island, 83 degrees with that stray shower storm. Low 80s around Emerald Isle and Atlantic Beach as well this afternoon. Also a little bit farther out, we're watching another disturbance. It's not developed quite yet, but it does have a low chance the hurricane says of developing um, into a tropical system. Hurricane Center, of course, will be monitoring this right along with us too. As we get into the latter half of the week, we'll watch this sort of transition more towards the Bahamas potentially if it can hold together. Lots of time to watch that right now. Looks like it may head back out to sea. This is what we're monitoring though today. Temperatures, heat index values right now. This is the pretty steady start to the morning. Middle and upper 60s to around the 70 degree mark. If you're heading out for that morning walk or jog this morning, going to be humid, warm, even some patchy fog potential, but clear skies this morning. So a nice bright start coming our way. We'll be in those low 80s by 10 o'clock, mid 80s by lunchtime. It's going to feel closer to the upper 80s this afternoon. Heat index values right around the mid 90s, although temperatures will be closer to the 90 degree mark today and we won't get any rain or storms, at least not much of that action to cool us down. So we're taking on all of that heat and humidity. You know the heat can wear you down, so make sure you're hydrating, taking frequent breaks if you're doing some outdoor work today. Here's a look at that disturbance. It's going to track closer to Georgia, South Carolina, today. Maybe a stray shower reaching up towards Fayetteville, but that's as far northbound, I think, as that shower potential will be. So limited overall. And then later in the week, a frontal boundary will start pushing closer, and that's going to take our rain and storm chances up just in time for the holiday week. And this timing, I'm telling you, Mother Nature has been off last two weeks. 60% Friday and Saturday, a few isolated strong, maybe even severe storms possible. Lots of time to uh, refine that through the week. Sunday, the 4th of July, looks like those rain chances drop down just a bit. So again, we'll refine that for you throughout the week. This is the focus though today, right around 90 degrees on the actual temperatures feeling hotter. We'll be in those upper 60s to around 70 tonight and still a chance for some patchy fog pretty much each morning until we can get a frontal boundary to pass through here, which won't be until later in the week. So again, temperatures will be in the low to mid 90s through much of this week. Friday as the rain and storm chances start to climb, temperatures take a bit of a hit. We'll be cooler on Saturday. Saturday with those showers around 4th of July Sunday right around 85 degrees. It's